Once, in a small coastal village in ancient Greece, there lived a humble fisherman named Nikos. The village, nestled between the lush, green hills and the sparkling Aegean Sea, was a place where life moved at a leisurely pace. The villagers made their living from the land and the sea, and they were content with their simple lives. Nikos was a kind-hearted man in his early thirties, with sun-kissed skin and a muscular build from years of labor on his small fishing boat. His eyes were a brilliant shade of blue, reflecting the sea that he so dearly loved. Every day, he would set out before dawn, casting his nets into the azure waters, hoping to bring home a bountiful catch to feed his family and neighbors. Although Nikos was content with his life, he had always been fascinated by tales of faraway lands and ancient mysteries. Late into the night, he would sit by the flickering light of his oil lamp, poring over scrolls and manuscripts, which were filled with stories of mighty heroes, mythical creatures, and legendary cities. One such tale that captured his imagination was the story of the lost city of Atlantis. According to legend, Atlantis was a city of great wisdom and advanced technology, an island paradise where its people lived in harmony with one another and with nature. However, the city's prosperity led to its downfall, as its citizens succumbed to greed and corruption, ultimately causing the city to sink beneath the waves, lost to the world forever. In the village, Nikos would share the stories he had read with his fellow villagers, who would listen with rapt attention as he wove vivid tales of adventure and intrigue. While some dismissed the stories as mere flights of fancy, Nikos couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the legend of Atlantis than just a cautionary tale. One evening, as Nikos was walking along the moonlit shoreline, he stumbled upon a weathered wooden chest that had washed ashore. The chest was covered in barnacles and seaweed, a clear indication that it had been submerged in the depths of the sea for a long time. Overcome by curiosity, Nikos pried open the chest, revealing its contents, a collection of scrolls and a large, tattered map. As he unrolled the map, he felt a shiver run down his spine. It was a detailed chart of the seas and lands beyond his village, and at the center of the map, there was an island marked with an elaborate symbol, a symbol that Nikos had seen before in the scrolls about Atlantis. He could hardly believe his eyes. Had he just discovered a secret map to the lost city of Atlantis? The next morning, Nikos couldn't contain his excitement as he shared his discovery with his closest friend, Dimitri, a wise and experienced sailor. Dimitri, initially skeptical, soon became captivated by the idea of an adventure to find the lost city of Atlantis. The two men spent hours studying the map and discussing how they would prepare for the journey ahead. As word of Nikos' discovery spread throughout the village, the villagers began to gather around the map, their eyes wide with wonder and curiosity. While some were excited about the potential riches that the lost city might hold, others expressed concern for the safety of their beloved fishermen. Despite the risks, Nikos was determined to follow the map and uncover the truth about Atlantis. Over the next few weeks, Nikos and Dimitri busied themselves with preparations for the voyage. They repaired and reinforced their boat, ensuring it would be strong enough to withstand the challenges of the open sea. They gathered supplies, such as food, water, and tools, as well as extra sails and rope in case of emergencies. They also sought the guidance of local scholars and navigators to better understand the ancient map. As the day of departure approached, the villagers held a farewell ceremony for Nikos and Dimitri. The wise elder of the village addressed the crowd, his voice filled with both pride and concern. He reminded Nikos of the importance of the values that had sustained their community for generations, bravery, humility, and unity. He urged him to remember these values on his journey and to always follow his moral compass, no matter the temptations he might face. With a tearful goodbye, Nikos and Dimitri set sail under the first light of dawn, accompanied by the cheers and well wishes of their friends and families. As their boat disappeared into the horizon, the villagers prayed for their safe return and the success of their mission. The journey was long and arduous, with the unpredictable sea often testing the limits of the small boat and its crew. They faced treacherous storms that battered the vessel with fierce winds and towering waves. They encountered days of stillness, when the sea seemed to stretch out endlessly in every direction, without even a whisper of wind to fill their sails. 
Despite the challenges, Nikos and Dimitri pressed on, their spirits buoyed by their shared sense of adventure and determination. Through it all, Nikos never forgot the wise words of the village elder and the values he had been taught. He and Dimitri faced each new obstacle with courage, working together to overcome the hardships of their journey. On the 40th day of their journey, the sea began to change. The water took on a strange, almost ethereal quality, shimmering with an otherworldly glow. Whispers of ancient legends filled the air as the boat moved further into uncharted waters. It was clear to both Nikos and Dimitri that they were on the cusp of discovering something extraordinary. Guided by the mysterious map, they sailed toward an island obscured by a perpetual mist. As they approached, the fog dissipated, revealing the towering peaks and lush, green valleys of the island. The beauty of the landscape left the two men in awe, but their excitement quickly turned to caution as they remembered the potential dangers that lay ahead. Nikos and Dimitri anchored their boat in a hidden cove and ventured onto the island, armed with nothing but their wits and the teachings of their ancestors. They trekked through dense forests filled with unfamiliar, vibrant flora and the eerie calls of unseen creatures. Along their journey, they encountered ancient ruins adorned with cryptic symbols that seemed to hint at the once great civilization that had occupied the island. As they explored the island further, they discovered a series of intricate, hidden tunnels that seemed to lead towards the heart of the island. Carefully navigating the labyrinthine passages, they marveled at the ingenuity of the architects who had designed the subterranean network. It became clear that these tunnels had been created to protect something of immense value, e perhaps the lost city itself. After days of arduous exploration, Nikos and Dimitri finally reached the end of the tunnel system. They emerged into a vast, hidden valley, at the center of which lay the remnants of a magnificent city. The sheer scale and grandeur of the ruins left them speechless, as they realized that they had discovered the legendary lost city of Atlantis. The city was a testament to the brilliance and ambition of its ancient inhabitants. Towering structures made of marble and gold dominated the skyline, while intricate mosaics and sculptures adorned every surface. At the heart of the city stood a colossal palace, its once gleaming walls now faded and crumbling, a stark reminder of the passage of time. As Nikos and Dimitri explored the city, they found evidence of the advanced technology and knowledge that had once flourished there. They discovered libraries filled with scrolls containing lost wisdom, laboratories where pioneering scientific experiments had taken place, and the remains of remarkable machines that defied explanation. Yet, amidst the awe-inspiring achievements of the Atlanteans, Nikos and Dimitri also uncovered a darker truth. The city showed signs of a catastrophic collapse, with buildings toppled and streets littered with rubble. It was clear that the city had not simply been lost to time, but had been destroyed by some powerful force. Ecos and Dimitri delved deeper into the mystery of Atlantis, searching for answers to the city's tragic fate. In a crumbling library, they discovered a series of scrolls written by the city's last historians. These documents revealed a story of power, ambition, and ultimately, destruction. Atlantis had once been a beacon of wisdom, peace, and prosperity. Its people lived in harmony with each other and with nature, and they used their vast knowledge and resources to benefit all. However, as the centuries passed, the leaders of Atlantis grew corrupt and power-hungry. They turned their backs on the values that had made their civilization great, pursuing wealth and dominance at the expense of their people and the environment. The Atlanteans built weapons of terrible power, seeking to conquer the surrounding lands and force their neighbors into submission. They plundered the earth for resources to fuel their war machine, causing untold devastation to their once pristine island home. As their society descended into chaos and decay, the Atlanteans turned on each other, factions fighting for control of the city and its rapidly dwindling resources. The very technology that had once been the source of their greatness became the instrument of their destruction, as the weapons they had created were turned against their own people. In the end, a massive earthquake, it perhaps triggered by the Atlanteans' own reckless actions, brought the city to its knees, burying it beneath the waves and sealing its fate for all time. The last survivors of Atlantis, realizing the terrible consequences of their actions, had preserved their story in the hopes that future generations might learn from their mistakes.
Moved by the tragic tale, Nikos and Dimitri knew that they must bring this knowledge back to their own society. They gathered as many scrolls and artifacts as they could carry, including a priceless crystal that contained the distilled wisdom of the Atlanteans. It was their hope that these relics would help to prevent their own civilization from following the same dark path. As they prepared to leave the lost city, they encountered one final challenge. A ferocious beast, a remnant of the Atlanteans' reckless experiments, guarded the exit to the hidden valley. Nikos and Dimitri fought bravely, using their wits and the teachings of their ancestors to outsmart the creature and escape unharmed. With heavy hearts and a newfound sense of purpose, the two friends returned to their boat, bearing the precious relics of Atlantis. As they sailed away from the island, they vowed to use the knowledge they had gained to foster unity, humility, and peace in their own society, ensuring that the tragic fate of Atlantis would never be repeated. Back in their village, Nikos and Dimitri were greeted with a mixture of awe and skepticism as they shared their incredible tale of finding Atlantis. Some were inspired by their journey, while others doubted the truth of their story. Regardless, Nikos and Dimitri remained steadfast in their determination to use the knowledge they had gained to improve their own society. They began by sharing the scrolls they had brought back with the village elders, who were fascinated by the advanced knowledge and wisdom contained within. Slowly but surely, the lessons of Atlantis began to spread throughout the community. Nikos and Dimitri took a leading role in implementing the changes they believed were necessary to avoid the same fate as the lost city. They encouraged the villagers to treat one another with kindness and respect, emphasizing the importance of cooperation and harmony. They promoted sustainable farming practices, teaching their fellow villagers how to live in balance with nature instead of exploiting it. In time, the village prospered, becoming a shining example of the positive values that Nikos and Dimitri had learned from Atlantis. The unity and humility they fostered within their community helped to establish strong bonds between neighbors, and their focus on sustainability ensured a bright future for their descendants. Word of the village's success spread far and wide, and soon other communities sought to learn from their example. Nikos and Dimitri traveled to distant lands, sharing the lessons of Atlantis with all who would listen. They became renowned as ambassadors of peace and wisdom, and their message of unity and humility resonated deeply with those they encountered. As their fame grew, so too did the influence of their teachings. Kingdoms that had once been bitter rivals now sought to learn from one another, inspired by the example set by Nikos and Dimitri's village. Conflicts were resolved through diplomacy and compromise, and the once war-torn land began to heal. Slowly, a new era of peace and prosperity dawned, guided by the wisdom of Atlantis and the steadfast commitment of Nikos and Dimitri. The world was changing for the better, and it was all thanks to the bravery and determination of two friends who had dared to uncover the secrets of a lost civilization.